the, the situation in the Republic of South Sudan uh, remains tense but calm. The airport, main highways, and the official border points with Uganda have now been opened in addition to some businesses uh, that have resumed normal operations. Whereas security has been contained by the government of South Sudan, the government would like to appeal to all Ugandans to take caution and abide by established uh, security measures as they go about their businesses. The government of Uganda has a task force in place at the border with South Sudan, comprising of different ministries, departments, and agencies of government to ascertain and resolve problems faced by stranded Ugandan traders as well as any other Ugandans. Buses that had been stopped from vying for business have now been allowed to move, including those to Uganda. Yesterday, December the 18th, 14 buses arrived from Juba with 1,689 passengers, of which 1,183 were Ugandans. Different aircrafts have also resumed business between Uganda and South Sudan. Unfortunately, there have been unverified reports of some Ugandan casualties. Anyone with verifiable information on Ugandan casualties is kindly requested to notify the Uganda Embassy in Juba as soon as possible. Right now, the official figure of the dead is one. At least that has been able to, uh, that has been reported through official channels. An AU ministerial team has headed to Juba to engage the South Sudan authorities in finding a political solution to the problem. Uganda is being represented on the team by Honorable Henry Okelo Oriem, the Minister of State for International Affairs. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Uganda through its embassy in Uganda, in Juba, is monitoring the situation closely while engaging the government of South Sudan. All Ugandans in South Sudan are requested to register their details at the Uganda Embassy in Juba as soon as possible. Uh, this is to ensure that they can be reached at all times with the necessary additional information concerning their safety and welfare. Whereas at the height of uh, the skirmishes, uh, the embassy was closed. Right now, uh, the embassy is open. We have consular staff at the embassy, as indeed we do have staff that go in the field to verify uh, the situation uh, that uh, Uganda have been faced uh, in the markets, uh, uh, in hospitals, uh, and in other Ugandan communities within Juba. That is true. The safety and security of uh, Ugandans in southern Sudan is uh, extremely uh, pivotal uh, to government. The government is very concerned uh, and it is a reason that it has sent a team uh, to the borders uh, to actually try to uh, verify the sit uh, security situation as the roads are open uh, and indeed as the buses or other, uh, other vehicles are going into Juba from Uganda uh, it is ensured that uh, they have security with them. Uh, the government of Uganda is certainly uh, 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 liaising with its counterpart in uh, southern Sudan uh, to ensure that uh, the highways are safe. There is, uh, historically, Uganda has been engaged uh, or uh, supported uh, southern Sudan in its liberation struggle and, and indeed uh, until they attain independence. Uh, but as regards uh, the telephone call by the UN uh, Secretary General Ban Ki-moon to President Museveni, uh, that is true. And uh, their conversation re revolved around 
uh, the security situation in southern Sudan and uh, most importantly to find a political uh, solution to that. And as we all know, um, uh, a delegation of uh, the AU uh, um, ministers have, have gone to Juba uh, to ensure uh, an amicable, uh, peaceful and political solution to this problem. Mr. Opolot, are we likely to see President Museveni intervene directly to, to, to bring peace to this region? He's been chairman of ACDLA, we saw that happen with, uh, with Congo. Are we seeing him also getting involved to help this, this neighbor find peace? Uh, that is quite possible, uh, but also uh, it is uh, important that uh, we do use the regional uh, frameworks such as uh, the IGAD uh, that is going to get involved in this problem uh, and the AU. Uh, as well. So there are those frameworks that are going to spearhead uh, the peaceful process uh, in, in southern Sudan.